today we're going to be talking about monocular diplopia. And normally, monocular diplopia is not a neuropathic problem because normally that means the problem is in your eye. And so the first question we want to know in monocular diplopia, is it really one eye? Now, to determine whether it's monocular diplopia, we're going to ask the patient if it goes away, but not if you cover one eye, if you cover either eye. And you have to ask either eye because if they happen to cover the eye that has the monocular diplopia, they'll say, yes, it went away and that's still monocular diplopia. So it's either eye, so they will respond if they cover the affected eye, the monocular diplopia will go away. If they cover the unaffected eye, the monocular diplopia will persist. And usually it's described as a second ghost image that's superimposed on the first image. They're not really clear and separated at two images. And so that kind of ghosting or second image that's unclear is a, is a tip off that it's monocular. Now monocular diplopia can be bilateral or unilateral. And so if they have it persist with covering one eye or the other eye, and it's in both eyes, that's bilateral but monocular, versus if it only goes away if you cover one eye and does not go away if you cover the other eye, that is unilateral monocular diplopia. And so when we have monocular diplopia, one of the first things we should do is deploy the pinhole test. So when we put the pinhole up, as you know, the rays of light coming in, only the one ray is going to be allowed to go through. And by blocking the extra rays of light, we can prove that the optical system is what's causing the monocular diplopia in the patient, either dry eye or cataract or uh, something in the cornea or in the retina. So the, the pinhole is a super great and fast way to prove that something is optical and monocular diplopia. So in most cases, monocular diplopia is not neuroophthalmic and requires a slit lamp and looking at the front of the eye and a cataract evaluation and refraction. And so we don't really image or test other pe people um, for monocular diplopia. So if it's binocular diplopia, that is neuroophthalmology and that does need to work up for the usual suspects, nerve, muscle, and junction. However, the one monocular diplopia that you have to think about is if it's a bilateral monocular diplopia and if it's exactly the same in both eyes then we would be worried that you might have cerebral diplopia and that cerebral diplopia can be multiple images of the same thing over and over again that's called palinopsia or it can actually be cerebral polypopia where you have a repeat of the image uh, tri triplopia or quadriplopia whatever and those patients usually have a structural abnormality. We're going to do a Humphrey visual field in that person, look for a homonymous amenopsia. And so the cerebral cases usually have a known cause. So the bottom line is monocular diplopia. Ask if it goes away with covering either eye. It can be bilateral and monocular or unilateral and monocular. If it's unilateral and monocular, we do the pinhole and we do the slit lamp and look at the eye exam because monocular unilateral is in the eye. Make sure it's not bilateral, cerebral polypopia, or palinopsia. If it's not that, that is not neuro-ophthalmology.